we went to the gold souk and the spice souk and i thought i would do a bit of a haul on the things that i got on that day trip okay y'all it's a new day oh my <gasps> this is the best thing ever what Okay, y'all, welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, again, another background. Why? Because I'm traveling. Travel vlogs are coming soon. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Get excited. Right now, I'm in Dubai and I got some of the most incredible things yesterday. So I thought we have to do a bit of a haul. We went to the Old Dubai, which is the gold souk, and the spice souk, which is the Arabic word for market. And it is called like the gold district in English or the spice district. And it is so incredible. I'll post up some pictures. It is like, oh, really, really cool. It is much more of a like traditional sort of like other country market vibe, much more than I, I think I was expecting. So much of Dubai is so much more like futuristic and like, you know, so incredibly clean and nice and like luxury. And this was very much like old world little shops in like, you know, kind of covered areas and you go through these little alleyways and stuff like that. And it was a lot of fun. And I thought I would do a bit of a haul on the things that I got on that day trip. Now, I'm staying at the Shangri-La. We love the Shangri-La. The Shangri-La is the best hotel in Dubai. You heard it here first. Seriously, go stay at the Shangri-La in Dubai. Tell them I sent you. I'm obsessed with everyone here. They all know me by name. I love this hotel. This is my third time here now. Every time I come, I stay for like a week, week and a half. I love it. I've actually stayed in a several other hotels in Dubai. I literally will book somewhere else just for like the experience. I stay there one night. I cancel my reservation and I come back. That's how much I'm obsessed with this place. It's just the best. Best staff, best room, best everything. Anyways, all that being said, I booked through the concierge here a day with a driver and a guide because my dad is his very first time in Dubai. It was my Christmas present to them to take them to Dubai this year for New Year's. And he has lots of like what I call man questions. Like how do you get water? And how wide in miles is the city? <laughs> how many of the population of just this city versus the the surrounding bedroom cities. Lots of questions like that. So I was like, I'm gonna hire you a guy and you could ask him how many palm trees exist in Dubai. <laughs> and so that's what we did. And the guide took us through the gold district and the spice district, which was really awesome too, just to have a bit of somebody that was, you know, spoke Arabic and could kind of like tell us what was what. Interesting about the gold district, especially they have a lot of counterfeit items, what they called a genuine copies, which <laughs> is so funny, way more than I was expecting. I guess down Downstairs, essentially, is kind of this how it goes. Downstairs, everything is genuine, all the gold and everything like that. And then upstairs, they will have like counterfeit items for like, you know, Fendi's and Rolexes and stuff like that. And they'll like try to offer you like all the counterfeit stuff. <laughs> I thought that was really interesting. I didn't like realize that that was so much of a like industry here. That's, I guess, a, a whole thing. And downstairs is where you have like the genuine watches and the genuine like gold shoes and gold dresses and gold shirts and all kinds of different, you know, gold things and pearls. Pearls are a bit of our thing. Me and my mom love pearls. So we were like, ooh, we definitely want to get some pearls while we're here just for the fun of the memory. Now, I will say I have a jewelry kind of like dealer, if you will, like she's a store here at the Shangri-La on the fourth floor. Highly recommend her. If you're looking for like authentic, you know, Dubai, like Arabic jewelry and gold that is like custom, like custom bracelet or custom something, something, go through her. She has her shop literally on the fourth floor. It's right next to the spa. And she will make anything for you, customized it, whatever you want. And I'm sure she goes through, this is an assumption, I actually don't know what her source is, but I'm assuming she goes through similar places that are like trusted places in the old market. I would suggest if you're interested in doing something like that to probably not go to the old market yourself, especially as a tourist, go through someone like her, right? And as she has like a whole showroom and she can get you exactly what you want and then she can go handle that whole like, you know, debacle over there with like people that are making different things. And I'm sure there's probably probably trusted sources there and probably not so trusted sources there. And you do probably need to know the difference, which is why I would not recommend you probably going there by yourself, wanting to buy like a whole bunch of things in gold because you know, all the prices are marked up just like extortion amount. It's a haggling thing. They go in expecting you to haggle. I know when I go to a lot of countries, for example, like in Guatemala, I always went with the aspect of like, oh, you have to haggle. They're going to try to like, you know, outrageously charge you. And it's like such a big thing, right? And then when you go to places like that, it's actually actually just like someone making those items. And so I prefer not to haggle when I'm in that situation and give them exactly whatever price that they're asking for because it's them 
making the product and it's their small business and they're just trying to like, you know, make a product, and especially when the price is like so dramatically different in dollars. It's like my pleasure to pay a small business that's doing well. This, I will say though, is not that situation. This is, you know, there's like a boss and then there's like several people that work for the boss of whoever that is. And the whole system and structure is created to haggle. So they put the price up by like thousands and then they like start off at like 50% off whatever the tag is. And then you like haggle it down from there, right? And it's like a thing, right? It's not, it's not like you're taking profit away from this place. It is like a thing that they do just to give you a perspective of what it's like. And anyways, I was glad I had a guide. It was really, really fun. I did haggle. I got some good deals, right? I <laughs> definitely have a knack for haggling. And uh, so we all had a bit of fun. The employees at the stores included, right? We had a bit of a laugh, so, you know, going back and forth and all of our haggles. <laughs> and so I'm going to do a haul on everything that I got in that experience. We went a bit wild in the spice market. I was expecting to like run through that spice market and like not care at all. Spice market has like incredibly cool things and spices and just, it was totally different than I was expecting. I thought I was going to love the gold market. Didn't love the gold market as much. Maybe because I already have the source here at the Shangri-La. The name of her shop is in actual Arabic and I'm going to butcher it. So I don't even want to say it, but I think it roughly translates to like the fashion FW fashion FW. It, it's, I will link it down below and I will put their Instagram here on the screen so you can see them. But anyways, all that being said, they have an Instagram, love them, DM them. If you want anything, I have that source. I would rather go through her after going through that experience for sure. Spice market though, low key lit. And I'm going to show you everything I got at the spice market. We got a few things at the gold market and then we went wild at the spice market. <laughs> So let's get into it. I know that was a long winded intro and <laughs> give you all kinds of random story details. But first thing that I got in the gold market is this pair of earrings that I'm wearing right now. Look how fun this is. I love these. These are genuine pearl and platinum gold, large pearl earrings. They're just a stud and this is exactly what I needed. I had similar ones or have similar ones that are not precious metal and they literally end up hurting my ears like my ears will like even bleed after a while on those because like the metal in them is literally so bad and I think I've just been wearing them for so many years that it's really worn down to like very not good part of the metal so yeah anyways it is platinum and that is why it is silver I love them they're literally perfect I'm going to wear them all the time and me and my mom kind of went in with that goal of looking for pearl studs earrings because that's something that she wears all the time as well how nice is that so fun now let's show you everything else that we got. I got my mom some more pearl earrings. Ah, oh, they're just the smaller, more mini version. And these are like the irregular shaped pearls. So they have a little bit more of like a button sort of shape and tone to them. They had like horrible little tiny backs on them. And I convinced him to give me these bigger backs because I really wanted them to sit well. And she hates the small backs too. I did end up like succumbing to paying a little bit more to convince him to change those backs, but it was well worth it because I hate small backs on earrings. <laughs> And these are 22 karat gold on the back and of course genuine pearls on the front. They will also give you your VAT back, your tax refund back, which I thought was really cool too. And what he does is, let me just cover up my barcodes. They give you the planet free sticker on the back of your receipt and you get your tax back at the airport like you usually would, which brings me to the next item. Next, oh, this is the box for these. I do have one more box. Next is another pair. <laughs> we got three pairs in total, two for my mom and one for me. This is the bigger pair for my mom. Again, we just wear these literally all the time and we love them. So I was super keen to get a really nice pair that have a bit of memory to them as well. And they're also like particularly hard to find in the US that are large with the precious metal back. It's like a weird like specialty thing that a lot of places do for some reason. Anyways, so I jumped on the opportunity. This is the small and the large for your comparison. You can see one is a little more yellow one is more blue based love them for her she loved hers too we got one more pearl item which is in this box right here now this is a pendant necklace she has been on the hunt for this exact pendant necklace for literally ever and it's just i guess something that's kind of hard to explain what she wanted but it was really simplistic in its like nature and she's got a few pieces like customed to look like what she had been envisioned and it just never really hit the mark 
mark of exactly what she was like really wanting. And we looked down in one of the cases where we got these same earrings and it was the exact necklace that she was imagining and has been wanting forever. And I was like, all right, all right. We have to add something to the list and get her the pendant necklace that she has been wanting for absolute ever. It's a little bit knotted, one second, there we go. It is this right here. Uh, it is a large irregular pearl on a pendant necklace. Now this is a 22 karat gold chain. And then this of course is the genuine irregular pearl. Isn't that so fun? It's just a single pearl that is in its little irregular kind of fun, funky shape. And it's just a simple necklace. This was just something that was so hard for her to like find the perfect shape that she wanted, right? Cause there's so many different kinds of irregular shape and she just saw it and she loved it. And I was like, done, we have to get it for you. And we did, I haggled them down to, you know, half the price, did the whole thing, but was super, super pretty. I will give you the prices actually that I paid for these. So that way, if you're ever coming here and doing this, you know what I paid. So you know what maybe a reference is. He started at $450 for this and I paid $250. Originally I was gonna pay 200 just for the pendant and I got him to put, just give me the chain with it. And then on these, I paid $500 for three pairs. So roughly 170, 140, no, 165. Was that 165? Roughly, right? And then I got him to give me the bigger bags. I did just succumb to paying a little bit more because he like was not gonna give me the bigger bags. And I was like, I literally, no, I want bigger bags. So I did end up paying 550 for that, but he was gonna give me all three earrings for the 500. I was okay with it because I wanna wear them on this trip. Obviously I could have like ordered nice big, like, you know, gold bags from home, I'm sure. But like, I just didn't wanna deal with it. And I was like, ah, that's fine. You know what? He was a nice guy. And I was like, all right, we will come to an agreement. I will say the previous shop that I went to that I literally walked out of was trying to sell me three of them for like a thousand five hundred. So that just gives you a reference for just how big the differences is in from shop to shop. So definitely you can go into a few different shops, ask around the prices, have an understanding of like what somebody is going to charge you and you know, the whole haggling thing. That's why I was going to say though, if you are just interested in the gold and you want like gorgeous pieces at like great prices with somebody that you can trust, that somebody that will take care of your jewelry forever, especially if you keep coming back to Dubai, shop at the shop on the fourth floor, the FW Jewelry. Sundis is her name. She is phenomenal. It's a couple, her and her husband. They are the most wonderful, most kind, most genuine, most literally heartfelt people. I love them to death. You know, when you just meet people that have great energy and you just connect, it is them for us. And they've just turned into like actual friends at this point. So yeah, if you're interested in gold from Dubai, go through them. <laughs> Don't go through the haggle process. Like I said though, the spice market it was my vibe. It was my people. It was so much fun. We got some great pictures and uh, footage and I will definitely put it into the Dubai vlog. So keep an eye out for that video. If you're watching in real time, if you're watching this later on, it's probably already out on my YouTube channel. So definitely check it out. It'll probably be the title will be like, I missed Christmas Eve in Dubai or something like that. That'll be the title. So not one bag, but two bags. Woo! <laughs> I'm so excited to show you everything we got. Okay, so first of all, my mom, last year we were in Dubai and she went to Global Village. Global Village is like the mix between a huge sort of market into a fair, like it's half market, half fair. It is so cool. Like absolutely go to Global Village if you are in Dubai. I think they do it six months out of the year. It is so much fun and it's right next to the Miracle Gardens. Highly recommend going there. Last year we went there, right? And my mom got a shawl and she just ended up loving it. And it's like her favorite shawl in the whole world now. And so when we came back this time, she was like, we have to get me another shawl because I love that thing. So when we were there, you would expect the spice market to be like all spices. It is, they have like gorgeous full things of like spice buckets of just like all these different kinds of spices, saffron and eucalyptus and like really cool different elements. And then they have lots of hand painted things from Iraq and Afghanistan and Turkey and India and stuff like that right? And it, some of it is just really cool. Like I go to markets a lot in other countries and some of these things were things that I would expect maybe to see in like Morocco or something like that. And they're just really like, I don't know. I loved it. I was like having the best time. Now they had Shaw's there. It was the, like one of the very last things that we saw in their shop and I felt it. And I was like, mom, this is the place we have to buy Shaw's. Not expecting to buy Shaw's at the spice market. Here we are. Not only did we buy one Shaw, we bought 12. <laughs> All right. 
Listen, because we were buying so many things in his shop and I was vlogging, right, for my YouTube and just Instagram stories and everything. He was like, listen, if you shout out my shop, I will give you like best deals, like let's do this. So I'm officially shouting out to his shop. He was so, so nice. It's called Happy Life. Again, most things are in Arabic, so it's a little confusing, but it is on the corner. It is like the shop right next to the little corner at the entrance of the spice market. I know that's like, okay, <laughs> but <laughs> if I have any footage of exactly where it is, so maybe you can like watch back this footage or whatever I will insert it into this video for you but they were so 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 nice and I'm sure you could ask around if you are coming in like a different entrance or something like hey where's happy life shop and then they'll like direct you but he was so nice and gave us some really great shawls again I will tell you how much I paid so that way you have a reference for what you should pay he was giving me particularly good deals though so even if you pay a little bit more than this not that big of a deal I think I think it was just maybe this whole situation because I just bought a whole bunch from him I paid 50 dirt um, uh, this is a llama wool and it feels incredible, like absolutely insane. My mom went hard to get them for gifts and just like anything else we could possibly think of. They're so, so nice. They're thin and breathable and just like feel amazing. Really, really, really happy with this. <laughs> We're so excited. She's particularly excited because she's been using her one for like forever. And it's so funny because she has so many other shawls, but for some reason she has just like attached herself to the one that she got in Dubai and no other shawl will suffice. No nice like any like cashmere shawl that I buy her will like suffice it's like she wants these these like really thin really soft really nice little ones that you can get in places like this so we got literally 12 of these we got like two black ones like this I'll just kind of quickly show you burgundy tan another tan blue brown hit myself in the eye gray green <laughs> next my mom got this little carpet little pouch she has a thing for pouches you know everybody has their guilty pleasure my mom is pouches anything that she can put other little things in to put into her bag her bag is just full of like little pouches of things <laughs> and so she found this like carpet version one right like a rug version and nabbed it love that for her <laughs> I just found more scarves. I think these are all the same colors. We just doubled up on them. <laughs> the gold market is also actually interesting home to the largest ring in the world. How fun is that? This is the photo of it from them. Oh my God, this is a good reference. Wait, the shop that I went into, right, is actually like right across the street from this one. So this where you have the largest ring in the world, right? Everybody will know where that is. It is directly across the street is like a street that goes like this, right? So here's the ring, here's the street, here's another street, here's the corner of that street. Wow, this diagram is rough, but hopefully you get it, right? So then here there's like all these like buckets and everything on the outside, right next to all the buckets and everything is an interest to a shop. That is where I got all of this from. <laughs> I hope you followed that. I hope at least one of you goes to the shop. So I got a few things that are all wrapped up because I'm flying. Oh, this is not a good way to show you this. Oh, I have to open it though so I can show you, right? I'll, I'll open up at least one of them. So my mom got two of these, one for her. She has a bit of a snow globe thing that she loves. We buy snow globes whenever we travel together now and she gets little mini ones that she puts on her desk. And this, her last Dubai one actually has a little crack in it. So she decided to get this one that has a light in it. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So it's a little light and it shines into the Dubai. It's like a little disco. I thought it was just like a little plain light. Mom, did you see that this is like a flashing red and green light? <laughs> yeah, it's not just a standard straight light. It flashes red and blue. <laughs> it's like a police is coming after you. <laughs> I feel like that's different than what she thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Anyways, that was just like a fun little tchotchke thing, right? <laughs> that she got. And next, we're getting into the other bag. Now, of course, when you go to the spice market, you have to get spices. So we did. She got some of the most amazing saffron. Look how cool this is. And look how cool this bottle is that they gave you. Wow, mom. This is like, like a gold jar. Did you see this? How cool is that? So nice. It's like a whole jar of it. Do you see that they put it? At, yeah, that's so cool. 
Oh, it smells so good. And it's all that fresh saffron. Love this. Next, she got a caramon tea. Now, I don't think that's what this is actually called. There's like another name for it. I'm not sure if it's an Arabic based tea. He was just kept calling it his tea, but I'm not totally sure where he was actually from. But it's like a traditional sort of tea and it's in this powder form and you put caramon and a little bit of saffron and cinnamon and like a powdered milk or something like that in it. Anyways, it's amazing. He gave us a little bit of it to try. And all of us, even my dad, were like, wait, that's really good. It's like so nice. Can you see that's what it looks like? It is definitely spilling though. Need to tighten that bad boy up a little bit more. Anyways, next, I got this. Let me tell you what this is. This is eucalyptus shards and it is a freaking amazing. If you do nothing else when you come to Dubai, go to the spice markets for eucalyptus. This is like literal actual like crystal shards, right? Look at it. And they're, oh my God, the best thing ever. So you put this, you gotta like close your eyes because it's so strong. This is like the strongest eucalyptus like ever. <laughs> and you put this in hot water and then it will sort of like almost like dry ice, sort of like kind of steam. And then you smell and it just goes and it like, I mean, it will clear out your ears. Like it will clear out every freaking bit of sinus in your whole body. It is wild. And you can do it in hot water or you can actually, I think set it on fire and use the charcoals and then smell it through like the smoke or something like that. But definitely the best way is through hot water. That way you don't get like the ash also in your lungs from like sifting, especially if you're gonna do it for like a little while. So amazing. I always like, give me the big one. This is so freaking cool. You do not ingest this. Do not be confused about that. It is actually poisonous to ingest, but you can smell it and like soak in it and all of that kind of stuff. And it's like, put it in your bath. And it's just an amazing healing property of eucalyptus is like incredible. Got a big one of those, super happy about that. Next, I got something that I might regret getting, but I could not leave it there. It was so pretty. <laughs> I'm obviously like traveling, right? And this is the very first place that I'm going and I'm flying to Paris and then I'm flying to London and then I'm flying all the way back home. To put this bad boy in my suitcase is not going to be fun. I really might ask the concierge here if he can't ship it and ship it back home because that is going to be a labor of love to put it in a suitcase. But I have to show you what I got. It's all wrapped up so nice. I might not unwrap all of it and I will show you in a video what it is, right? So you can like fully see it and I'll unwrap one right now to show you just like a gist, right? They like taped it hardcore. It is ah, cups. Love them so much. And they have been dotted and glazed. How cool is that? So they're fired. They're obviously like created, right? And then they dot all this glaze all over them and then fire them again. And it's just so cool. So I got two cups and one of the big pitchers for the tea that we got so we can make the tea. Then pour it into our little cups. I have a weak spot for China and I don't even use China that often. Like I don't even drink tea that often. I really have to get more into tea to use all the pieces of China that I've bought. I am a sucker for a really cool China a set and I have a whole cabinet full of different china pieces that I love and this is just so cool one of the coolest pieces and it matches with the other one other cup and then the other one here I bet you can actually see this other cup yeah 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 I'll show you so it's not the same exact pattern but it's close and then the big teacup is similar and that's so cool oh, just love it he said that these were made in Iraq and then the other ones were made in Turkey and he ships them into Dubai to sell them in his shop so it's just super cool loved that right who knows where like every bit of these things always derive from because I'm sure that, you know, they're kind of all over, but that's what he told me and I just loved it. And so I bought it in the shop. And last but not least, we got chocolate covered dates. If you guys don't know, dates are a huge thing in Arabic culture and especially in Dubai here too. And this is called the Emirates Date and Almond Chocolate. And it is so good. He gave us one just to like eat while we were in the shop, right? And we loved it. And even my dad liked it. And I was like, okay, well, we have to get like a few more of them. So I bought like 10 of them. Let's just try one together. Let me show you. Mm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. So there's an almond and then the date and then the chocolate. The best. See all these like cool things that you can get at the spice market that I wasn't expecting at all. Really, really, really cool. That is the last thing I bought in my trip to the old city in Dubai. Such a fun, cool experience. Highly recommend. Like I said, all my tips there if you're looking for similar things. Thank you so much for watching. Pretty please subscribe if you haven't already. I promise it's a fun time around here just for the vlogs alone, guys. Listen, I just hit a thousand subscribers. Woo!
so 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 exciting <laughs> so it's only uphill from here right guys and i will see you guys in my next one bye